will not stop until we know what happened to these young boys. You talked about all those little details that your department is looking at. You have a lead investigator that is dedicating his time uh, to this. Uh, what have you found, what has the department found um, in all of these search warrants, items seized, uh, searches, all, all these tips, 200 tips, what has come from that that makes this case um, go forward? Leads. Little bits of information, a little bit of a breadcrumb from a witness statement, from an item of evidence that gets seized, from a tip that comes in. We're actively and aggressively pursuing every lead. And so the, the point of going piece by piece and paying attention to the closest and smallest detail in each of those things provides leads, provides us another step, provides us a potentially additional evidence to find out what happened. Can you assure the community that we are mo you're moving forward, your department is moving forward in this investigation? Absolutely. Like I said, we do not know what happened to them, and we're not going to stop until we know. But there's nothing that has, in those tips and searches, you have been able to find things that have kept this investigation going yes let's talk a little bit about what comes next for the department 163 days we here at K kgt have been counting the days mm -hmm. at some point though there's going to be a dead end whether if you do not find these boys if we don't know what happens to these boys there is going to be a dead end at what point does the department say you know what we've used all our resources we've done absolutely everything that we can to try to find answers and, and we can't at what point do, do you get to that point We'll have to see if we get to that point. We are not at that point, and we are continuing to find little bits of information, enough to keep going, enough, another lead, another, another location to go search, or another tip that comes in. Um, this has continued over the last 163 days, and like I said, we are committed to finding out the truth about what happened to these young boys. All right, I got to ask you because there's a lot of people invested in this case. Mm -hmm. um, we know of people who have raised money for a reward to find these missing boys and to search for answers. Uh, we know of people who have raised money to put billboards not just locally but across the country saying where we need help we need to find these missing boys and there's also been groups that have formed to do their own searches to to help the police department to help other officers going out there what is the most effective way to get involved how can people out there in the community that want to do something how can they get involved in, in finding these boys the most effective way for them to assist us in this search is to provide us information that they have if they have reason to believe that there's a location that needs to be searched give us that information because one of the things about this coordinated investigation with multiple agencies is we have a lead detective that knows the full scope of everything that we're looking at and it might be a very important piece of the puzzle so that information needs to be provided to us we recognize that there's great interest in this uh, two young boys just disappearing um, we want to find out what happened to them and we will find out uh, but uh, we don't want people out searching and potentially disturbing or destroying evidence if you know or if you have a tip or if you have information that you think might be important to us call us so that we can put it with the rest of the pieces that we have to see if it's significant Bakersfield Police Chief Greg Terry uh, thanks so much for joining us this morning